Hello fellow stackers, 365 here, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I've got another unpackaging for you. Now I have actually got quite a few parcels that I've built up over the last few weeks because I've actually had a break from YouTube for the last month. For those of you that have been following my journey along, you'll understand the reasons why and, and where I've been and what I've been up to in the background. But I have actually got a few unboxings lined up and that is because I've still been purchasing I've still been picking up silver I know I did release a video a few months back that said I wasn't going to be stacking any more silver in 2023 but that ended up going out the window I ended up deciding that it's always best to continue to purchase precious metals as a dollar cost average kind of strategy as opposed to trying to time the dips I do generally think that we are going to see a slight dip as we head towards 2024 but you can never be sure about that so i have kind of adjusted my strategy a little bit and i am kind of adapting the more dollar cost averaging technique and that's a technique i used to do when i first started stacking i used to just pick up silver as and when i could afford to do so but i decided to try and time the the market a little bit and i was kind of watching the economy and seeing how in my opinion i thought the prices of not only precious metals, but also the other markets, the stocks and shares, the property markets, and all the rest of it were moving. And I was trying to time it a little bit, but I've gone back to the strategy of just buying when I see things that I like the look of or I like the price of, and when I have the spare funds. So you will start to see a few more silver pickups on this channel. But I do still stand by my original statement, and that is I do think that we will see a drop in silver price as the, the back end of this year continues and definitely into 2023. And that is due to a number of different things. It's due to the cost of living increasing. It's due to inflation. It's due to people just not spending their cash. People haven't really got excess cash to be putting into investments. All of their money is being eaten up in just the day to day living, whether it be the increase in prices of fuel to fuel your car to get to and from work whether it's the increase in your mortgage if your fixed term has run out a lot of people's mortgages are coming to an end within the next couple of years so people are starting to get a bit worried about that my fixed rate mortgage came to an end in october well it comes to an end in october i've recently just lined up another two-year fix and my previous rate was around about 2%. And now it's gone up to 4.5% or nearly 5%, I think it was. So my actual monthly mortgage amount has gone up by nearly £500 a month. So huge increases and everyone is really feeling the pinch. So that is the reason I do think a lot of commodities, a lot of stocks, a lot of shares, property, a lot of it is going to continue to drop a little bit before... We start to see a rise and that rise will happen in my opinion when inflation rates are a little bit more under control i think the current inflation rate in the uk is sitting around six percent and the government and the bank of england's target is to have it around three percent or it might even be two percent and i put it on the screen now it's either two or three percent is their actual target and it's like obviously double that so once that starts to level out the cost of living starts to level out people's wages start to increase because a lot of companies haven't increased their their wages for anyone for the last few years either so the wages aren't matching up with the increased cost of living so like i said all these things are going to affect investments because people just don't have the spare capital to be putting money into investments they're just using that money to get by day to day so without that being said i don't want it to be a negative video but that's just kind of explaining my thoughts on the market so let's get into the video. Now I'm not exactly sure what this is. It might not even be silver. It might be something for the backdrop. It says, hello, thank you so much for your purchase. If you leave feedback, please bear in mind, I never dispatch late, so I hope the postal or courier service has delivered in a timely manner. I always do my very best to accurately describe items for sale. Each item is packaged with care to ensure it arrives safely. Please note that eBay takes up to 12.8% of postage and packaging charge. Enjoy the items and thanks again. So that's a nice little touch from the seller on there. And as you can see, it's obviously from eBay. Now I've got a feeling this isn't even precious metal related. That might be for my backdrop, but let's have a little look. Very interesting box. This is definitely not what I ordered. 
vegan, quality free, fragrance free, don't even know what that is. Skin Care London for blemishes and pores, helps smooth and calm skin. Very interesting. Let's have a look what's inside. What is this? Ah, oh, I think I've got an idea what this is. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I know what this is now because there's three of them. Now these aren't actually precious metal, but they are for my setup. And I've actually slowed down a little bit on picking up things for my backdrop because I have got to a stage now where I've got a nice selection of different things in the backdrop. And I want to more focus putting money into actual investments as opposed to just the, the backdrop of my channel. But I suppose you could look at it like this, this channel is kind of an investment. I'm investing in my video content. So when I'm buying things for my backdrop, it's not a complete waste of money because it makes my videos more interesting for you to watch. And it also helps expand a wider audience looking into precious metals because you will get people that are sick to death of seeing the standard coin and hands videos where the camera's face down, all they can see is your hands and coins. Videos like this might appeal to people that, that want to see a little bit more of an interesting backdrop. So that's my kind of strategy with this channel to bring more eyes into investing in precious metals. This was one of the things I recently picked up for the backdrop. It's actually made of silver, it's not solid silver. It's kind of silver plated, I believe, after doing some more research into it. But still, it's a nice weight, they're very collectible. And I got it for a fairly nice price from eBay. My silver kingfisher, it's actually got a fish down there as well, which is really cool detail. So let's see what we have here. Look how small these are, a lot smaller than I thought. Everything always looks a lot smaller, doesn't it, when you buy things on eBay. But these are really, really cool. And you can see it is a brass duck. Really, really cool. And I think you can probably tell by watching some of my other videos. I do quite like brass as a metal. I think it looks really classy. I think it looks really nice in ornaments. And I haven't actually got them on display at the moment, but I do have some silver miners i call them silver miners they're kind of mining brass mining figures and i do quite often have them in the backdrops of my video but i saw these when i was searching for brass ornaments and i just thought it was really really cool so we've got one duck there really really nicely packaged actually Another duck there. And I think they get slightly bigger as we go along. Or it might be, they might be the same size and then we've got maybe the mum duck here, I think. Look at that. That's a bit more substantial size. I just thought they were really cool. They were, they were vintage. I think they were listed as vintage brass duck ornaments. And I just thought they looked really, really cool. And like I said, this channel is not just about appealing to people that already like coins and stacking. It's trying to appeal to a wider audience. And that is why I'm constantly trying to add new things to the backdrop to make it more exciting, to make more people look at the thumbnail of this video and go, wow, look at all that. What is going on there? I want to have a little look. What has he got in the background here? What's this? What's that? Cannonball. We've got a gold back there on display as well. So yeah, it's my way of appealing to a larger audience and trying to get more people interested in stacking precious metals not just necessarily interested in stacking precious metals but also interested in looking into inflation looking into why fiat currency is losing its spending power year over year looking into why the financial system and the hierarchy and the government and all the rest of it want us to stay poor they want us to stay in a nine to five it's about opening people's eyes and 
just getting people to look behind closed doors if you like. So as always, thanks very much for watching. Sorry it's not actual precious metals that I've unboxed today, but I hope you still enjoyed the video. As always, I appreciate all the support. I appreciate all the comments, the likes, the shares and subscribers. But big shout out to the 365 Club members as well. And as always, thanks very much for watching and I hope you have a very nice day.